What's up, today we're gonna look at funny Amazon reviews, because why not? First up, we have the famous horse head. This is a hecking life changer. I could write some bullcrap story about aliens or something, but no, this horse mask changed my life. I wore it to work the day I got it, and my boss laughed so hard he gave me a raise. I decided to walk the mile and a half back to my apartment instead of taking the train. I bumped into someone and they fell. As I looked out from under my mask, I saw a light, and following it, the most beautiful, angelic woman. I had ever seen. I don't know how verifiable this review is, but looks like it's worth the buy. We are engaged now. I was doing the usual around 11, looking out of my telescope at Constellation. This time, I was wearing my mask. I thought nothing of it. It was just a good luck charm. This was when they saw me. On their planet, equine-like creatures are the prime predator. They fired shots. I barely escaped with my life. They are coming. This planet will be theirs. But when you see them, raise a defiant fist and put on your accoutrement horse head mask. Die with honor. This is the end. Well, that was interesting. Let's do one more. It's powers. A few years back, this group of bagpipers started to play right outside of our house. This was them playing the same song repeatedly for three or maybe four hours straight. This was war. After a year or so of contemplating, my father and I decided to invest in these beautiful stallion masks. This was much bigger than me. They started talking to me. I could hear them whispering, Dawn me, <laughs> gain the power. I tried to resist, but their force was too strong and I was pulled in. <laughs> the mask, it does things to a man. It makes you become it. As soon as the mask was received by my face, I started to snort and gallop like a horse. The mask heard the agonizing squeals and squelches of bagpipery nonsense and somehow forced me to rear up like a startled horse while snaying. I galloped my way over to the source of the wretched noise after donning, for reasons unknown, a pair of my father's overalls and a farm shirt. My inner horse showed no mercy and expressed my fury by neighing at them for a good 10 minutes whilst walking in the middle of their practice session. Ultimately, the bagpipers felt so awkward from the appearance of my mask that they left. Once victory was obtained, I galloped back to my home where I collapsed in the middle of my living room in exhaustion, waking only to feed on carrot tips and compost bowl cuttings. It's three days later, I could say with confidence that the bagpipers are not bad. You must get the mask. It. It has powers. I like the pictures it showed. Next up, we have a miniature cutout of Danny DeVito. This cardboard cutout of Danny DeVito has surpassed all of my imaginable expectations. From the moment I took him out of the box, I knew this would be a relationship built to last. He stood proudly upon my kitchen table, and I looked at him with admiration and respect. The permanent smile on his face brings me joy day after day. I can't wait to put him on my desk at work to look at when I need motivation to be my best self. My own version of being Danny DeVito. I'm thinking of buying one for all my friends and family so they feel the same comfort and self-assurance that Danny has brought me. Nice. This mini Danny DeVito cutout has brought me happiness. I used to have a girlfriend. We've been together for 12 years. That is quite a while. Then one day I caught her cheating on me with a cutout of my favorite cartoon character, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. That is interesting. I felt betrayed. I idolized Shaggy and even learned an impression of him. I three my ex and her Shaggy cut out from out of my house. I guess he meant to say through. I was so depressed and only. <laughs> interesting grammar here. Then a few months ago, I found this Danny DeVito cutout on Amazon. It is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Danny doesn't talk back and listens to what I have to say. Also, Danny and I agreed. Bros before hoes. Minecraft reference, definitely. This high quality cutout of the one and only Danny DeVito was effectively the best gift that I've given to a friend slash family member. As it is a mini cutout, it has given qualities that make it amazing. Great for starting existential crises. I leave Danny in bathroom of friends' places and make them question their entire existence. Two, the portability of this item is crazy. The cutout itself is one foot tall and much like the actual Danny DeVito, very portable and can be brought anywhere for pure enjoyment. Three, great conversation starters. It doubles as a guard. Just prop Danny in front of you while you're studying or working in a cafe and you'll find yourself approached or stared at. For some reason, people tend to leave your stuff alone, but I don't know if that's just me or Danny. Next up is this very ridiculous looking Swiss Army knife. Why does it have so many parts? And these are all the things it has. That is a big list. Would recommend. I got this as a gift from a friend about a year ago, and I had cataracts. I used the femtosecond laser to remove the old one.
ones and the plastic molder to make new ones, I can see a apple on Pluto without a telescope. And if I want to get it, I can use the included F1 engine and included crew capsule. Although there's only enough fuel storage for one round trip to Proxima Centauri before refueling. That thing is four light years away. That would take millennia to get there. Pros, it does literally anything from sharpening a stick to braid surgery to protecting yourself from enemy aircraft with the included Phalax CIWX. It has also cured all known diseases. Cons, it has made me immortal and shown me all the knowledge in the universe. I've seen horrors that I can only hope never see the light again. Save my life but increase my real estate taxes considerably plus major compound building permit fines. My family gave this to me about a year ago for Christmas. After having felled three large trees with the included mini chainsaw last weekend, super powerful by the way, a very large splinter punctured through the brachial, I don't know, artery in my arm. I removed the splinter with the included standard pliers and blood spurted out everywhere. Ooh. I was able to clamp the artery with the arterial forceps also included. Then I called 911 with the included cell phone blade, but I had to use the included toothpick to dial as the keypad was incredibly small. While it did save my life, I accidentally built a large 12,500 square foot single family home in the process, which has dramatically increased my real estate taxes and resulted in many building permit violations and compound fines. But hey, I'm still alive. We also have How to Avoid Huge Ships. Really weird title, I wonder why they made it. Best wedding present we could think to give. As the most insightful on avoiding a lifetime of huge ships, which are apt to show themselves even in the strongest of marriages. What? For my brother, the self-proclaimed little ship of the family, these pages are full of wisdom. The captain goes step by step, identifying in chapter one the characteristics of huge ships, which is vital for the bride to know when entering into a lifetime of commitment with a ship. Why is she marrying a ship? I, what? If these items are not recognized early on, little ships can run into big ships, or worse, huge ships may be blessed with a fleet of little ships. Nice short one right here. This book could save your life. I'm very much scared of ships. I live over 100 miles inland and at 6,000 feet elevation, but one can never be too careful. Be careful to get the latest edition. I don't want to be negative, but none of the reviews I've read have addressed the fact that there are two editions. You want to make sure you buy the latest edition so that you have the most up-to-date information. Do you want to get run over by a huge ship just because you neglected to buy the latest edition? No, I don't think so. Lastly, we have a book of 1 million digits. For those of us without a two-week vacation to devote to this tome, I would like to see a Cliff Notes version. Maybe 10,000 random numbers? <laughs> Spoiler alert, they just pretty much stay random the whole time. No plot twists or anything. They gotta do better. I mean, if you've seen one random number, you've seen them all. Save yourself some time, and if you need a random number, just sort of think of a random number in your head and write it down. Odds are it's in the book already and you've saved yourself $80. Yeah, this is an expensive book. It has everything. This book contains everything I could ever ask for in a book. Name for every person ever born? Check. Next week's Powerball, Bingo, LMB, and NASCAR results? Check. Is there a language translator for the 10 digits? This is a bit confusing, but okay. By randomly combining and recombining the contents at random, I have read the works of Shakespeare, Harry Potter 8, Tomb of Crying Stilton to be released in 2014. Definitely didn't happen. The Bible and the real Bible. Hmm. I threw out my other books when I realized I could just jump around in this book and derive every other book I wanted. I think Borges wrote a story about this, but it's taking me a while to find the story in my book. I did find some steamy erotica this morning though, so who's complaining? I don't think a million digits could give you everything you ever wanted in a book, but okay then. Bad ending, but good otherwise. Very interesting. Starts off slow, but picks up and is great until the end, which doesn't match up. A common flaw in literature. Spoiler alert. Eight. A very engrossing book with historical importance. It keeps you guessing until the end. I mean, technically it's true. Five stars, super thrilling read. Wow, I, I gotta get this. It must be worth the $80. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Subscribe.